Buhai, and welcome to the RAC, Rural Art Connection, the place where your boredom ends and creativity begins. Today, we are going to be working on... What are artist trading cards, or ATCs? Artist trading cards are miniature pieces of art that are traded around the world. Artists create, trade, and collect art at organized swaps or events, either in person or online. The only rules for ATCs are the size, two and a half by three and a half inches, and that they are traded and never sold. ATCs are used by some artists as business cards or just ways to connect and interact and make connections with other individuals. Your mess. Do you know? Your mess. Mama's is bigger than mess over this. It's mommy's table. It's mommy's table mess. Your mess. Do you know? Your mess. You're okay. I'm right here. You mean okay? Hmm? I know. Throughout this video, I'll be giving you some different ideas and ways that you can create your ATCs. You can paint, you can draw, you can create zentangles, you can use foam, you can use strictly paper and pen or ink and pen, you can use stickers, you can collage by cutting out images from magazines, words from magazines, and you can combine them all together. So several of these art pieces that are slowly coming in to the side are mixed media. Mixed media means that you're using multiple different kinds of media. So for example, the Pokeball is made out of paper and foam with actually some glitter glue put on there to add a little bit of a sparkle. The moon that is also showing up is drawn on a piece of paper with pen and Sharpie, a little bit of gold marker, and is glued on top of my trading card. There's also a trading card that has a painted green background with a sticker laid on top and words collaged from the magazine on top of that. So there's many different ways to accomplish these little tiny art pieces as long as you are keeping them within the size restrictions. So this first one that we are going to be making is Bold and Brash from Spongebob. I've been told, oh gosh, many years ago that I need to create this art piece and so I decided that it was so nice, I had to make it twice. So one has a glitter background and the other one is just standard.
how did the ATC movement get started? In 1997, M. von C. Sternman, a Swiss artist, created 1,200 cards by hand as part of an exhibit known as a collaborative cultural performance. On the last day, he invited others to create their own cards and trade with him during the closing reception. The movement took off. There are swaps going on all over the world, even still today.
can I sell my ATCs? ATCs are never sold. However, you can sell ACEOs. ACEOs stand for Art Cards, Editions, and Originals. These tiny artworks are exactly the same as ATCs, but go by a different name and are sold and collected all over the world. The term ACEO was created by eBay back in 2004. ACEOs are considered to be the second generation of the ATCs. So for my students' intents and purposes, we are only going to be creating ATCs because I don't expect any of you to try to sell your artwork at this time. Trade yes, sell no. Thank you so much for watching. If you like that video, please like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to stay safe, healthy, and I will see you in the next one.